now friends in this particular video i will be taking you through the the application of six sigma so far we talked about history of the six sigma we talked about the new and old model of the six sigma and we talked about cost of poor quality where we can apply six sigma friends where you are having processes where you are having activities you can apply six sigma so as this figure shows you can apply six sigma methods in service design purchase production it mnds hrm quality department administration management i cannot see any field untouched without the application of six sigma even in kitchen where our lady of house is walking there also you can apply six sigma because they also work on certain process certain parameters so starts from your it starts from your home and in your office in your production floor in your on your desk everywhere these concepts are very much applicable so let us try to understand what the companies could able to achieve by applying the six sigma as we see in this this particular concepts are applicable everywhere now to support this i am having this particular quantification or quantitative parameters it would give you the idea what is the savings this companies have made general electrical they have saved around 2 billion by applying this concepts jp morgan they have actually applied this concepts and could able to save 1.5 billion annually just by utilizing this concepts motorola 16 billion johnson and johnson 500 us dollar million and honeywell 600 million us dollar so this way these are the benefit of the six sigma this company could able to achieve so let us understand variation if you are having higher sigma value you will be having less variation sigma is the indicator of the standard deviation now if you are having less variation then the deviation would be the less so here in this particular uh, figure you can see that lower specification limit and upper specification limit and if you are working at six sigma level then you are somewhere within this particular range that means what do you are having a per specification limit and lower specific and specification limit defined you have controlled your process in a way that you are working within that range you are working within that uh, within that range or far far below that range right so you are you are actually centered into the middle as i was talking about the example of the the cap and let's say my customer has given me the Uh, given me the specification limit of 4.2 and 3.8 my idea is or i would like to arrange my resources in a way that i should able to produce exactly around 4 cm so that is the approach we are looking for and that is how we would like to reduce the variation but in practical way because of the certain common cause we are getting this variation and through six sigma approach we would like to identify these causes and reduce them to reduce them as possible as we can and the, if we reduce that then definitely our value of the standard deviation would decrease our sigma value would increase and variation if variation would decrease then definitely defective would be decreasing 